Hey what's up guys, the new pure fiction season has started in Honkai Star Rail and I thought I should make a video to help you get the full 12 star clear and earn that easy 720 stellar jades. For those of you who are not familiar with it, pure fiction is the latest permanent game mode where you fight waves of enemies on a 4 cycle time frame. In this video I'm going to show you gameplay, teams and builds and give you a couple of ideas for other teams you could use for both first and second half of the event to clear stage 4 with 60,000 points. And for this season we have increased damage dealt by follow-up attacks. So all the units that have follow-up attacks might perform better than other ones. Okay, let me pull up the tier list I made with the best performing characters first. Then I'll show you a couple of teams and builds and show you some gameplay to better understand the layout. To keep it super simple, I divided my tier list in three categories. OP, S and A. For the OP DPSs we have Argenti, Herta and Black Swan, and for the overpowered supports, we have Ruan Mei, Fuxuan, and Huo Huo for their utility use. You don't really need a sustain, aka healer or tank for this event, but in case you'll find yourself in the difficulty, I have added a few below as well. Then for the S tier DPSs, we have Himiko, Ying Yuan, and Kafka, and for the supports, we have Brania, Sparkle, King Yuan, and Luocha. Last but not least, for the last section of the tier list, in A tier DPS we have Blade, Clara, Jing Liu, Serval, Guinaifen, and Sampo. In A tier, for supports we have Pella, Asta, and the Fire Trailblazer, but I've also put Beilu, Jepard, and Lynx, just in case you need the healers or tanks as well. As for the teams, to get yourself an idea, here are a few good ones. I have divided this table in first half and second half, just so you get yourself a better understanding. For the first half, we have a follow-up team made with Himeko, Herta, Ruanmei and Fuxuan. And uh, for the second team, we have Topaz, Himeko, Ruanmei and Fuxuan, with Blarnay as well. Another good team will be a Jingliu team, because I think a lot of you have Jingliu, so it would have been... Uh, a mistake for me not to have it included. So we have Jing Liu, Brania, Ruanmei and Fuxuan. And another good team I have included here. This is a free to play team. It has Herta, March 7th, Trailblazer, the fire one, and Lynx. You can choose Blarney here. Lynx, by the way, you can uh, get it by completing the second stage with three stars. So in case you don't have Lynx already, just complete second stage with three stars. You can only get this once, so you won't be able to get any like uh, Eidolons for it or anything. Okay then, for the second half, we have Kafka, Black Swan, Asta and Huo Huo with Flattery. This will be your main DOT team. We also have a Jing Yuan team, where Jing Yuan is the main DPS. And for the supports we have Sparkle and Ting Yun, and also included Luo Cha as a healer. And for the whimsically, Whimsicality effect, you can choose Flattery. We also have an Imbibitor Lune DPS team, with Imbibitor Lune obviously, Sparkle, Ting Yun and Luo Cha with Flattery again. Flattery is the whimsicality effect that makes your uh, ultimate become a follow-up attack, so that's how you increase the effect. And for the free-to-play team, we have Dr. Ratio, Serval, Yukong, Natasha, and all of these with Flattery as well. Obviously, these are not the only teams that can help you complete first and second half for the stage 4. For example, in my runs, I didn't use any of these that I'm highlighting here on the website. I've made my own teams with the best items I have. And uh, let me show you some gameplay of it. And let me show you my teams as well. Now, to fast forward into the battle so you don't see all the 10 minutes of fighting and just uh, get bored. This is a scene from whenever I got to the boss at the end which is wave 3. I used Topaz Nambi, Himeko, Herta and Jeppard for shield generation as I found myself dying quite easily here. And this team was very, very consistent with the whimsicality effect. Blarney, yeah I had Blarney because this is a follow-up team. And yeah, this team was very consistent with the follow-up effect especially because of Himeko, Herta and Topaz which worked together to increase the damage and make the whimsicality effect spawn easier. If you look at the score, I already have 28,000 here, but unfortunately I ran out of time as this is cycle zero, and I finished with 28,500. For the second phase, I've got a better team prepared. It's made up with Ho Ho, Serval, Clara and Blade. With this team, I've also selected Blarney as my whimsicality effect, 
as the Clara's rebound damage and blades follow up, it's enough to make it charge quick and trigger twice. Not really sure if you want to watch the whole 5 minutes fight, so I will fast forward a little bit to see the end result. Okay, doing some uh, editing magic here, fast forward to the boss. And after drinking a gallon of water, because for some reason my voice is leaving me, you can see here I'm having 48,500 score. So all I need is another 12,000 to collect the 3 star reward. One thing I like about Blarney is that after it procs, you can see here, it procs once and then it procs the second time. This is very nice for increasing the damage output in total and making you clear faster through the waves. I'll show you the rest of the gameplay here to see how I achieved 60,000 and how this follow-up attack rebound works closely. Here we have procced Whimsicality effect once and then the second time. This is Blarney again. Now Blarney is going to help clear up the wave. We have the second spawn. Then we have Blade using the basic and then the ultimate to deal some nice 70k damage I think it was. Dealing some nice little damage here. And now you're going to see how Clara is going to rebound all four attacks or three attacks I think it was from these guys that are attacking the white team the whole team and she's gonna proc the whimsicality effect again very nicely dealing a bunch of damage very nicely and I think we're gonna jump above 60,000 and finish around 61,000 mark if I remember correctly yeah guys this is pretty much everything I can tell you about this event and uh, consider using these teams that I show you if you don't have your own or if you find like you're struggling with your own Hopefully this uh, this helped. Give it a like if it helped and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I guess I'll end the video here. I was planning to show you some builds as well, but builds are irrelevant. You should always use the best relics you have because sometimes you don't have the best relics for the, for the right character. So you just like cycle them from a character to another. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go and uh, drink more water because my voice is really failing me. Okay guys, see you in the comments. Cheers, bye bye.